All right, so welcome to the React 16.3.0 context course, or the best name I could come up with, Anti-Redux. Um, React 16.3 was released, and they um, introduced a very new cool API to handling context. Uh, very few people knew about context, and it wasn't recommended that you used context before. Uh, they were saying like you should only use it when you have to, don't use it too much, it's unstable, stuff, 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 stuff. And that's why we did stuff with Redux, which used context, by the way. And um, that's why the state, state management was uh, offloaded to a different library like Redux. Now, on this new release, uh, they... Um, improved the API so much that actually you don't need Redux for everything now. Like before, sorry, before if you wanted to make a to-do app or whatever, you needed to have Redux or it will become a little bit messy. Um, like many people were learning Redux to make very simple apps that didn't need Redux. Um, now with this um, new context API, we can do stuff that would require Redux, but with React and only with React. So this is the documentation that I based the course with. I am going to leave this at the top of the video. I'm gonna forget that I've said this. Uh, so if you are one of the first people that watch the video, please remind me to put this at the top of the video because when I record and when I upload, very different times and I forget. So what I want to show you is what we're going to build and this is called the anti-redux. And this is super simple, it's just a proof of concept, but it's gonna show you how uh, it's going to work and the things we can do. So basically, uh, what I have here is like a dashboard that I made, it doesn't, it's not real data, it's just bullshit. But the good, uh, the thing that about it is that um, it has a reaction of uh, one to many. So if I click one button, many things happen, all right? And this was suggested by me, uh, to me by Japan guy uh, or knee prayer in the Slack channel um, because always when people do Redux is because one action has many effects, right? And many components are listening to one action, right? It's not like a one-to-one -one thing that I click and it works on the same component. No, I want, uh, I want one action to um, change other component, all right? So... Um, what we built here was an anti-redux dashboard, which is like a bullshit social network, right? And this doesn't work, nothing here works. Um, the only thing that works are these two buttons. And what I want to show you is very simple what we're going to do. As you can see here, we have three, right? And when I check this as viewed, it's not um, yellow, it's not um, yellow anymore, the border. The colors are gone, and here is only this is two, right? If I tap here, now it only says one, and if I tap here, it only says zero, all right? That is a one to many action because I tap and the colors change, the color of the border changes, and also the counter changes, all right? So that's what we're going to learn on this course, how to do this without Redux. So see you inside, bye-bye.